Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I shouldn't be doing this, it's YouTube after all. Good whatever time it is, and welcome back to the Crystal Empire. We've taken out our rival Equestria, but we've yet to expand back to our natural borders. Conquering Melania, the Northern Shores, including the Changelings, I assume. Then we can do something. We can, oh, restore the glory. We gain core regions on all the old regions of the Empire. But first we have to stop the Changelings, and right now it's not advancing on the Changelings, it's actually just, you know, stopping the Changelings from moving forward. <laughs> At least for now. Yeah, they've made a slight breakout, but, th but that's no problem. We'll have plenty of divisions to throw out in just a second. It's just, it's just a nice opportunity for encirclements. That's what I like to think of this. Oh, come on, look at this. Look at this encirclement. Oh, it could happen. It could happen. Oh. Yeah, this is exactly what you want to see in a war. Look at this. 230k losses, about almost a million losses. Fielded pony power is about the same, but they're, they're losing a lot more troops. They really can't win against us. They can make this last a really long time if they want to, but they can't actually win. That's, that's the point.
And that was a nice war. That was that was a good war. Uh, they had the advantage at first. We got the advantage and changed things around. And we will take all states. And we are going to go for the Radiant Marriage. After all this time, how could Sombra have been so blind to what in, was in front of him all along? The one he loves is the one who loved him enough to bring him back from eternity. Okay, so we're going to do that marriage. Probably because Chrysalis and Luna probably won't be popping up anytime soon, I would assume. <laughs> I think they're both gone. And before war echoes once more... Throughout the halls of our great empire, we have something to celebrate. Marriage of King Sombra and Radiant Hope. Recent news from the Crystal Palace is the King Sombra of the Crystal Empire has married his long-time lover. The streets of the Crystal City were lined with celebrators, diplomats from many nations, and media both foreign and domestic. Okay, so pretty cool, interesting, good stuff. Her destiny is finally fulfilled. Now, our focus tree is pretty much done. I don't really want to do this because it gives negative political power, and I kind of need my political power. And I don't really need fortification. I guess I can do nuclear power. <laughs> oh yes, this is the power I've been craving. Those who oppose to me will fall to their knees. This is a brilliant fusion of magic and technology. Yes, I'm sure, I'm sure that these people would love nuclear energy. Yes. King Sombra seems like a nuclear energy kind of guy. The only thing nukes can't fix are these resistance strikes. Ugh, so annoying. And our supply issues. Wow, and Whitland forms the River Federation. It's a decent River Federation. It's pretty much the entire thing, minus Nimbusia, who's gone non-aligned. Kind of wants to do their own thing in Lake City. Same deal. We'll have to see what ends up happening. Lake City... Lake City isn't strong enough to rival the River Federation, but they definitely won't be falling easily. Okay, Stalingrad. During today's media conference, King Sabra has spoken about the issue of Stalingrad. He said that he despises the idea of workers controlling the land and factories, and that the Crystal Empire needs to do everything it can to prevent the cancer of communist ideology being spread across the frontier. He also did not exclude the possibility of military action against the state that is currently unlawfully occupying the old eastern territories of the Crystal Empire. And it's time to bring New Maryland back into the war. We gave them peace for a time, but that time has long passed. So let's get back to war with them and their allies. Okay, Stalingrad has capitulated. And we get all their territory, that's nice. That's why I wanted to be at war with them, just in case. So we didn't have to... Well, I guess we could have just justified our own war and then they wouldn't have any divisions to defend themselves, but this is, this is easier. Well, we sink more and more of their ships every single day. And our navy just continues to grow, like our navy has already jumped up like 10-ish ships. Their navy has fallen like 30 ships down. The air superiority plus the naval stuff around these islands is just kind of impossible for them. And the convoy ratings working well too. We have like a 91% convoy rating efficiency in these areas. So we're just sink- we were sinking tons of convoys and then we started sinking a lot of ships. It's just going well and once their navy is small enough, I will just group my fleet together, get naval superiority in these islands, invade here, invade here, and that's pretty much it. Wing Barty, I don't even know if they will invade with the king in charge. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to subscribe and give this video a like, and see you guys in the next episode where we finally start our invasion of Griffonia, which will 
probably be a swift one since there was no strong Griffonian Empire, no strong Wing Bardi, no strong River Federation, no, nobody that's really strong. <laughs> Our only, our only enemy will be infrastructure. Hopefully, that's that's always what I say, and then someone always makes it hard. Anyway, see you guys then.